Hey y'all. What y'all doing this morning? I'm out here celebrating. You want to know what I'm celebrating? Well, first this is Kathy. Crowder's Mountain. Barn Quilts by Mountain Visions. And look what we're celebrating today. She is number 200. Now I know there's people that's made 5,000, but I'm proud of my 200. So I wanted to make a special one for my 200th anniversary. And I'm going to show you something else too. But see her? This is not my pattern. I found it online. I could, I could show you the pattern in case you wanted to draw you one too and paint it. I'll do that. I'll be right back. Okay, here you go. Here's your pattern. That's the Lone Star pattern. And the designer has taken that Lone Star and put in to the blocks and the pattern for the hummingbird. You see what it is? It's just each block has been painted a different way. So you can take a snapshot of that and you can figure it out what, co what colors you want to use or anything. If you want me to do it for you, just let me know in the comments and um, I'll do it and let you watch me. Okay. Now, the designer, you can probably see her name down in the bottom. It's Gwendolyn Little Chief King. And it looks like it says 2018. She did a fabulous job. So now let me show you the other one that I was talking about. I'm interrupting their dinner, but I wanted to show you this barn quilt that I did. It's that long star pattern that I just mentioned with the eagle. Okay, you see the long star pattern. And it has the eagle in the middle. Okay, so we're going to put the sealer on our hummingbird that we made the other day. Now this is what I use. It's called Ultimate Spar Urethane. And it's water based. Now, now that's the most important thing. It's got to be water-based. If not, it's going to turn your barn quilt yellow. And I ruined my very first one. If y'all follow me on my channel, you saw it. I ruined it. I worked so hard on that thing and then just ruined it. <laughs> but anyway, lesson learned. So now I always use water-based, and this is my favorite. It's crystal clear satin, and it leaves just a beautiful finish on the barn quilt. Now I always use exterior paint, and I seal it with this. Now here's my setup, if you want to know what I do. I've got, I've just got this tub, and I've got a little tub down inside this big one. And I put my sealer in here. You can see some in it. And then I take just this little four inch roller and dip it down in there and go across the barn quilt with it. So I'll show you that real quick. It doesn't take just a minute to do this. So 
So here is our little bird. And I go around the edges first and see how that's beating up on the edge. That's okay, but you want to kind of work fast because you don't want that to start drying. Because if it starts drying, it's going to leave a ridge. The same reason you don't want to um, leave a ridge when you're putting your kills on. That'll make it look bad. So, I just go over it. Now, I saw someone using a, a pad. It was a it was pretty wide, and it didn't take but a second to go over it with that pad. And you could use a larger um, roller, too. I don't know why. I just kind of like using the small one. It just seemed like I can control it better. All right, see, that's it. I've got it covered, and I put three coats on it. Um... It says it will dry in about an hour, but I always wait six or eight hours. And if I've got plenty uh, of time, someone's not waiting on it, I really like to wait till the next day. Um, it doesn't hurt anything, but I don't know. I just like, I like waiting for the paint to cure three or four days before I put the sealer on it. And then I'll, I like each coat seal for about a day. It, it's just kind of the way I do it. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed that. Just a little quick video. And I hope you got some good information out of it. And if you want to follow me, just subscribe and click the bell and hit notification so you'll know the next time I upload a video. Y'all have a good day. And I'll see you next time.